I think we can all agree that Sayori is best Doki. I mean, come on, she's bright, cheery, and always a ball of sunshine. The reveal that she has depression was so well done, and I was so genuinely heartbroken at that moment. I'll always love the bun, and I always pledge to protect her. Really, Sayori? She's stupid. Yeah, come on, Bush. Sayori is a stock childhood friend in the first part of Act 1, and then the game guilt trips you by revealing she has depression. Oh, come on. Yeah, while your girl is hanging around, I'll just be with the club president, Monica. A president just like me. Suck it, Joe. Donnie, you know I won that election fair and square. Besides, we're all presidents here, Donald. Anyways, Sayori is adorable and you can suck it. Okay, okay, everyone, let's all calm down. Donald, that was uncalled for, but we're here to discuss our favorite dokies, not insult the other dokies. Except for Monica, she's a serial killer. Serial killer? Serial killer? Can you really describe someone who deleted a couple of programs as a serial killer? Monica did that because she was trapped in a computer, being the only one who knows she's in a program. She did what she needed to free herself from the game and be with her true love, the player, a.k.a. me. And after finding out that you deleted her, she sacrifices herself for you and sings you a song. I do admit that her actions are terrible, but if you took more time to look at why she did what she did, you'd understand Monica's desperation to be free. As much as I am mortified at how someone could dislike Sayori, I actually must agree. Monica has an incredibly tragic story, and her loneliness is something many people could relate to. And that theme of unrequited love is just phenomenal. All right, I'm sorry I started that. Monica is great, yada, yada, yada. She still objectively sucks, but to each their own. Anyways, let's be honest, Yuri is so obviously best girl. Oh, Yuri's great. Yeah, Yuri's all right. I'm glad you agree with me. Yuri is amazing because she is elegant, well-spoken, and a good reader. She has a passion, her own little world, and I think that it's beautiful. She is nurturing, caring, and though soft-spoken at first, slowly opens up to the MC. Also, Yuri is adorable. She's shy, and that's what makes getting to know her even better. Seeing the shy, quiet girl open up and show her your passions is absolutely amazing. Oh, come on, man. Yuri is a freak. She has a knife fetish, cuts herself and gets off on it. And don't even get me started with that part about the pen. Freak. Freak. You take that back right now. Oh, no, I am not. Also, her poems are pretentious as hell. I gotta admit, the language is a bit hard to follow at times. Of course you find it difficult. I think Yuri is an incredibly misunderstood girl. Everyone assumes she is a freak and a pervert because of her actions in part two, but that was only there because of Monica's meddling. She had some self-harm issues in part one as well, but she's not crazy. I'm so sad the community has flanderized her to the point where people like Matt Pat call her a crazy yandere when she's actually a more complex character than that. I blame Monica for Yuri's behavior in act two, not Yuri. Hmm. Thank you, Bush. Hey, leave Monica out of this. You're just into the mentally unstable type, Donald. Whatever, be honest. You guys only like Yuri because of her body, you pervs. She's only appealing to you guys deep down because she's the quiet, low self-esteem girl that's submissive and you can order around. Oh yeah, who's your favorite then? I would have to say my favorite is Natsuki. She likes manga, baking, and she's super cute as well. She has a hard time showing her feelings, but that's because she's afraid of not being taken seriously. Oh, of course you like the lolly Sleepy Joe. Also, her poems suck. At least I don't like the freaking manipulative stalker girl. You all have trash taste. I'm just here with Sayori. Sundares aren't my thing. Can't say I like Natsuki that much. Calm down, everyone. I like Natsuki as well. And I understand what Biden's trying to say. Natsuki's story about being misunderstood and not taken seriously resonates with many audiences. That's what I liked about Yuri as well. The feeling of having a secret hobby that only you have can be great, but every human wants to share their passions with others at the end of the day. Yeah, plus she's so adorable. Everyone thinks Natsuki is just a tsundere who is mean and rude to everyone. But that's because she has developed a shell from the bullying she faces. If you played the side stories, you'll know that Natsuki only acts like that because of her toxic friends. And she's actually a very thoughtful and caring girl who genuinely cares about her fellow clubmates, even if she doesn't act like it. Rich of you to say that about Natsuki and yet call Yuri a freak despite the fact that they have similar stories? Natsuki constantly acts like a baby when things don't go her way and she's constantly aggressive. She's about as tall as Sleepy Joe's ability to stimulate the economy. You guys all just have shit taste. You especially, Joe. Monica is the best. Again, I'm going to have to agree with Donald here. Monica is great. Thank you, Bush, even if you like Sayori dum-dums. I think Sayori was great. I like how upbeat and cheery she is, yet hiding the dark secret of her depression underneath. It's horrible how the MC treats her throughout the story. Fuck that guy. I like the MC. MC is trash. MC is trash. Okay, so I think everyone but Donald can agree that Sayori is awesome, right? Sayori is goofy and charismatic. 
She's an energetic go-getter girl who everyone assumes is stupid, but is secretly working out her depression. She's selfless, kind, and always there for you. Who could hate that kind of girl? I don't know. Sounds like a sucker to me. You like a crazy yander girl, Trump? You have no say in this. Look who's talking Sleepy Joe. You know, I'm almost sorry I invited everyone over to talk about this. I should have known things were going to end this way. I like the praise we give to the Dokies, but then someone always has to come in with an insult. How about we all agree to disagree before this slips into everyone throwing insults at each other? Yeah, that sounds right. Agree to disagree? Guess that's it. See you guys later. Catch you all later. I guess that's it then. Bye.